YouTube. The mullet hairstyle is back in full swing, baby. And today I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how to do a mullet wig on this mannequin head. So sit back and enjoy this video. First up, 28 piece pack hair, the dome cap, baby, a razor, and some glue to hold it all together. So girl, let me tell you about this cheap pack hair that I bought. And when I say cheap, I mean cheap in every sense of the word. Y'all gonna see at the end when I try to curl this hair, it would not curl. I think I paid about $10 or $10.99 for this hair. So I'm starting at the nape of the mannequin's head to add my 12 inch hair. And the reason why I'm putting the 12 inch hair at the nape of the neck is because for this mullet style, I want my longer hair to be in the back because it's gonna be cutting layers. Child, look at me struggling with this damn glue. Okay, all right. Looks like, wait a minute. Okay. It's, okay, there we go. There we go. First of all, why am I doing a mullet? I'll tell y'all exactly why I'm doing a mullet. Most of you all know that the mullet hairstyle is a style that came from back in the late 70s, early 80s. Oh yeah, I got to blow that blow dryer down to hold that glue down onto the hair. Yeah, okay. Y'all see it? Yep. Let's make sure that, that that track is sticking to that stocking cap. So yeah, as I was saying, this is a style that came out back in the day, honey, and it is back in full swing. It has been trending on social media, TikTok, Instagram, everywhere, even YouTube. Now, I'm not even going to sit over here and fake the funk like I knew it was trending because I didn't. <laughs> so what had happened was my good sis called me up and she wanted me to make her a wig for her birthday. First of all, let's start with the fact that I have never made a wig in my entire career as a cosmetologist. But my good sis knew that I knew how to do quick weaves. She knew that this is something that came from my era and my time of styling hair. So she knew exactly who to call. So she told me what she wanted. She showed me what she wanted. And I said, girl, let's, let's do this. Let me do a practice run. Y'all know how to, the brides do it when they are trying to get a hairstyle for their wedding. Be, before the wedding day, they like to get a practice run to make sure that the style is going to look good for their wedding day. So I said, girl, this is what we're going to do. We're going to get the hair and do a practice run. Okay, so half of the head is all done and I use the entire pack of 12 inch hair on the back of this mannequin's head. I also bought some 10 inch hair. Now the 10 inch hair was a better quality in terms of being able to curl and you guys are gonna see that towards the end of the video as well. So right now I am closing up the top part with the last track that I'm going to use for the back of the mannequin's head. All right, let me go ahead and speed this video up because y'all don't want to see all of that. Y'all want to hurry up and get to the end of this video. I'm sure y'all do. And I got to finish telling y'all my story. So yeah, girl, as I was telling y'all, oh, wait a minute. This is the 28 piece hair and the 28 piece hair is what is going to be used for the front part where I will be tapering the sides and layering the top and girl we about to get into some things but before I start laying down the tracks I am flattening it straight so that when I lay it down it won't have that curve to it because the 28 piece here comes kind of curved like a bump and when you put the hair on without straightening it first, 
it has like this wiggy look so we're going to straighten it out first before we lay it down on the mannequin's head okay back to my story time where was i yeah so my good sis she knew that i would be the person for the job honey so this wig right here is actually a test run and she's going to let me know once i'm done with it if she like it and if she like it honey then it is a go for her mullet hairstyle for her birthday the 28 piece here comes in three different lengths and i'm using the longer of the three because once i'm done applying the hair on the mannequin's head i want it to be enough length to wear if i want to make the sides with some long sideburns um if that's my choice but if not i'll cut it up shorter but i just want to make sure that there is enough hair on the sides just in case honey look at tatiana oh did i tell y'all that my mannequin head name is tatiana so we got both sides done symmetrically and um we're gonna start with the front part now look at there baby oh yeah she is coming all the way together she's gonna be so beaut i mean cute <laughs> so that's the story of how i decided to do a mullet wig on this mannequin head and all right all right all right all right tatiana is coming together baby so on the very top i am using the 10 inch weaving here the weft here i'm using the 10 inch, 10 inch here and i'm using that here because i want to have some volume on the top and some like long wispy bangs and things like that so right now i am creating my closure and I'm going to continue in a circular motion until I get to a small circle. And then I'm going to create, not create, but I guess create is the right word. Yeah, I'm going to create my own closure. We are getting down to the nitty and the gritty <laughs> the nitty gritty baby look at that let's make this closure right now i am getting ready to make my own closure some of the 28 piece here comes with the closure but this one didn't come with the closure so that's why i'm going to make the closure myself however even if this 28 piece here did come with the closure i would have still made my own closure because i'm using the 10 inch here for the top so i want the closure part of the hair to match with the top of her hair which is that 10 inch hair that i'm using your girl ran out of glue so looky 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 what i had to do <laughs> Your girl know how to improvise when it's time, honey. Yeah, that's what I had to do. Y'all see it. It took me about three to four hours to complete this wig, which wasn't very long. Um, right now, what I'm doing is I'm fanning out the hair to make sure that the hair is evenly distributed around the closure so that it will lay nicely up over the hair that is going to go on top of i'm sorry y'all okay my words just got a little jumbled up i'm so sorry <laughs> for some reason honey this is the fun part flattening down that closure with your flat iron all right now Let's see how much glue is going to come out of this bottle now. Ooh, there we go. Ah. 
Okay. Now we about to get somewhere, girl. We about to get somewhere. Now, I know I told y'all that flattening the closure was the fun part. Well, guess what? I lied, honey. I lied until I saw the video get to this part right here. Cutting this hair is actually the fun part, honey. Look at that. Yes, let's get in there and cut some hair. Now, this is beaut. <laughs> I'm on my Cardi B stuff today, y'all. This is super, super cute, guys. I love the way that it's falling in the face. Um, I love the way that I have it angled. Oh, look at that. Shake, 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 shake. Yes, shake, shake, shake it. So I'm done cutting. Now I'm getting ready to curl her hair. Now remember earlier I told you guys that the back of the hair where I used the 12 inch hair, that hair was some really cheap hair. Now watch how this hair does not curl, okay? Not watch how it curls, but watch how it does not curl. Mm-hmm, look at that. I mean, it might look like it curls to y'all, but it really wasn't given curl to me. No, 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 no. Look at how cute. Now, the haircut could be better, but baby, I did the best that I could do with what I was working with. And when I say that, I'm talking about the fact that when I did this video, I could not find my shears, my trimmers, or anything. So I cut this mannequin's hair strictly with that razor. To conclude my story time, my good sis loved this wig. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell next to it, comment, share, and thumbs up this video. Until next time. <laughs>